guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be talking about procreate basics or basically procreate for beginners so let's get started okay, so now let's open the procreate app when you open procreate this is the first screen you're going to have and this is called the gallery so you won't have any artwork but i'm going to show you how to make it so first off you're going to press on this plus icon and you're going to have different canvas measurements. So there's screen size, square, uh, 4K, A4, and you can even make your own canvas, like personalize the size by clicking on this little icon over here. So there's in pixels, inches, centimeters, and millimeters. I'm just going to pick screen size. Okay, so now we have all of these icons, so I'm going to start with the brush icon, which is what you used to draw. So when you click on the brush icon again, you're going to have the variety of default Procreate brushes. So Procreate has a lot of brushes you can do a lot with, but you can import brushes or you can make brushes, which I'll be showing how to do in other videos. So if you want to edit brushes, you can double tap them. So if I click this script brush it is now highlighted if i click it again it's gonna get me to the brush studio where i can edit it so if i lower the streamline to zero and for example i'm just gonna write hello it just looks like really jiggery and now if i go again and put my streamline to max and write hello again. You can see there's a difference. And if you draw a line, and then without the streamline. So the streamline just makes a difference when you're drawing and it helps a lot in calligraphy. Okay, so now let's explain the smudge tool. So the smudge tool helps you uh like make gradients and stuff so i just drew a simple gradient over here the pink gradient so and it just helps in blending so i'm just gonna blend them so of course you can do way more than gradients but this is just a simple example and when you click on it, you're going to have the basic Procreate brushes. So it's pretty much the same as when you click on here. Okay, so now for the eraser tool. So this is just a normal eraser. So there's nothing about in it, there's nothing about it. And if you press it, it has the brushes. This is an adjustment tool for the brushes. So right now, if I raise my brush size up to 100%, it's gonna have a nice thick brush. And if I lower it, it's gonna have a thin brush. And this is the opacity. So if I, this is full opacity, it's just gonna have a normal line. Now, if I lower the opacity, it's gonna make it more clear, less opaque. So here you can see the difference. So this is with less opacity. And when it's at 1%, it doesn't even show. Okay, so over here you have these like little undo and redo buttons. So the first one is an undo button. If you press on it, it's gonna undo your last stroke. And the one under it is a redo button. And you can also uh, press with two fingers to undo and press with three fingers to redo. Okay, so now we have this icon over here, and this is the layers icon. So I'm just gonna draw something. Okay, so now um, I want an exact copy of this layer. When I swipe right on my layer, I have three options, lock, duplicate, and clear. Clear is just gonna clear the layer, and duplicate is gonna have an exact copy of that layer and delete is gonna, just gonna delete the layer. When you press on the layer, it has different options, which I'll be talking about in other videos. But I'm going to show you one important option. So if you click on a layer, and then you click alpha lock, 
you can draw on the layer with other colors and it's not gonna get out of the lines so you're drawing on pixels that are already there so we're not creating anything Okay, so over here we have the color options so there are a lot of ways you can choose your colors so this is the disc and you can just it's pretty basic really uh, the like the light colors the dark colors and the classic is pretty much like in the middle of the disc and then you can move it around from over here and now harmony is if you want to pick complementary colors so I don't really use this one a lot in value you're just gonna play around with the hue saturation and brightness and then the last thing palettes so palettes if you uh, will, like want to save a color so I'm gonna uh, click the plus icon to make a palette So I'm just gonna name it like And I'm just if I go over here and then just find like a color I, I really like and you want to save it so I'm, I'm just gonna click and it's gonna save that color in my palette and if you want to delete the palette you can just swipe left on it so I swipe right and delete and now for the wrench tool so if you press on it you have all these different options so add if you want to insert a file or a photo or add text canvas uh, you can turn on animation assist if you want to create an animation drawing guide just helps you and guides you in drawing share if you want to export your image or drawing in video so in procreate when you're drawing anything it's gonna have a time-lapse recording of you drawing whatever that thing is you can turn it off if you don't want to so preferences in procreate there's a light interface and dark interface so this is the dark interface and then the right hat interface so some people prefer like this brush adjustment tool to be on the right of the screen and you can toggle it using this over here and the brush cursor is when you're drawing you're gonna have like this little outline it's not really clear you're just gonna have an outline of the shape of your brush and then help has reviews uh, the procreate handbook portofilo and other things okay, so now I'm just gonna draw something real quick Okay, so now if you just want to move this to the middle of the screen and everything's on one layer so you're going to press this little cursor tool and it you can just select it and move it around the screen so there's free form where you can just like freely move it you can do it in uniform the sort is just gonna make it's just gonna sort like everything in wrap you can just play around with your text so there's also flip horizontal um vertical the date 45 degrees fit the screen okay so now for example i want to make this heart pink but i don't want to but i don't have two layers so i'm going to click this s shape tool and this is a selection tool so I can go to freehand and select the heart and then I can just copy and paste it so now if you open your layers you're gonna have this so you can just turn alpha lock on choose a red color and we just choose a pink color and then just color it Okay, so now I can just press on it again. And so we have an automatic selection, which is gonna select it. And the rectangle, so it's a rectangular selection. And the ellipse, which is a circular selection. And you can put these two layers back together by merging them. So you're just gonna swipe 
left on the other layer and then like do this together like bring them together with your with your fingers so now let's play around with this um, wand icon okay so the opacity is how clear it is Gaussian blur is just like it just blurs everything out motion blur is I don't really know how to explain it it just creates motion perspective blur so it just gives perspective to this area because the like little dot is at this area over here uh, so there's noise which just creates noise in the photo if you zoom in you can see like little dots liquify so you have a lot of options in liquify so here's push and roll right roll left so this is just like if you want to make backgrounds or anything they're just pretty fun to play around with <laughs> and the reconstruct tool i just i'm just gonna mess it up and I could just get it all together. So now I'm just going to show you a bunch of fun things you can do in Procreate. So if you press uh, for a long time on the screen you're going to have the eyedropper tool and you can just pick the exact color and if you like um, swipe from this little box you can toggle it from up to bottom or you can just leave it in the middle. Go back to full screen, you can just pinch with two fingers and then release it and you're going to go back to full screen. And now if you want to go back to your gallery, you just press this gallery button. Okay guys, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching and have fun drawing. Bye.